Hi everyone, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. For my next video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get this look, but before I do that, I just wanna extend a very humble and extremely grateful thank you to all of you. As of today, I've reached 100,000 subscribers. So in celebration, my next video will have something very special, which will include a giveaway to one of my subscribers. As always, thank you for watching and remember, you are the magic in the makeup. Hi guys, I know it's, God damn it. Hi guys, I know it's been a while since my last video. These last 10 months have been. Hi everyone. I know it's been a while since my last tutorial. The last 10 months have been. I've always been honest with you regarding makeup reviews and products, and I don't want to lose that trust. And so I've decided to let you know what's going on without getting too deep into it. Cause I don't want my personal life out there. My parents recently passed away. It was sudden and it's shaken my entire family that I've had a hard time with it, a really hard time with it. And as a result, my channel fell to the back burner. And for that, I'm sorry. For the betterment of my mental health, I've decided to move in with my brother. I don't know for how long, but my channel is also going to go in a different direction for the time being. I never thought I'd cover mental health, but I think it's important to share with all of you my experience and what I'm going through. I'm sure I'll share makeup tutorials again in the future, but for now, I... I just want to focus on feeling better. Thank you for understanding and for taking this journey with me. So this is my brother's house. I brought over my bags and clothes and stuff yesterday, but I wanted to film my first official day as his roommate. Hi, Rumi. We're not calling each other that. This is my older brother, Mark. Hopefully he'll warm up as time goes on. How long are you gonna film me? I don't know, probably not a lot. Like I said, this is Mark, and this is where I'll be calling home for the next however long. That's Frankie, and this is Otto. Otto is an indoor cat, but he likes to escape. How long have you had Otto? I got him and his sister in eight weeks, so almost three years. All right, Stevie. Yeah, but she likes to hide, so I doubt she'll be up for an interview. How long have you had Frankie? He's 12, so just over 11 years. Where did you get them? All three from the same shelter. Is that why you bought the house? I bought the house after mom and dad died. You know all this. Mark, come on, just play along. How long have you lived here? I bought the house three months ago. If you're done, I'm gonna mow the lawn. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Is there yeah. somewhere else I can store my stuff? There's not a lot of room in my closet. Like what? Like stuff I don't want lying around. Like what? Like mom and dad's stuff. Is that mom's necklace? Yeah, I think it's pretty. It's made of jasper. There's a uh, space in the attic. Through the store. Okay, thanks. It's not a lot of stuff. So this is the guest bedroom and I'm gonna decorate it a bit over the next few days and make it a little more me. I'm sure I'll get used to living here and living in the same house with my brother again. The last time we lived together was when I was 14 and he was 18 or 19. I can't remember exactly when he moved out. I don't know, I guess it's just weird living with a sibling again. I mean, we get along, but I feel like he's only helping me because he thinks he owes it to mom and dad. Maybe this experience will help us grow closer. I'm gonna unpack and make this room a bit more me. I'll check in with everyone again later. Thanks for watching. What's that? I think it's an urn. An urn? Like ashes? Yeah. Whose are they? 
I was hoping you'd tell me. How would I know? Where'd you get it? In the attic, when I put mom and dad's stuff up there. Is there anything else with it? No. Why? More stuff's up there. I can call the previous owner to come get their creepy shit. You think it belongs to the previous owner? Not mine. But who would leave behind Grandpa? That's a person. Could be a dog or a cat. People cremate birds? Mm, I don't think it's an animal. They usually put them in little wooden boxes, like jewelry boxes. This is too nice. It's old. Well, just put it back where you got it. I'm not going back up there. You put it back. I'm not going up there. What if Grandma and the rest of the family are waiting for me? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, uh, just put it in the garage. I'll call the realtor. Maybe he has the previous owner's number or something. Hi everyone, it's Rachel. If you're looking for makeup tutorials, I'll include a link to my previous videos in the description below. But for this video, I wanted to talk about how things are going. I know I haven't been keeping up with my channel as much as I should because it's hard to find the privacy you need to record when you live with someone. But I'll try to be better about it. And most days it's hard to find the energy to just get out of bed, let alone record something. Anyway, it's been about two weeks since I moved in with my brother and things are going okay. There was an adjustment period for both of us. Things like dishes in the sink or who should take out the trash. It should be him, by the way. But something fun is in the works. Mark's work is sending him to Vegas in about a month and he gets to take someone, so I might get to go with him. I think it'll be a fun bonding experience. I want to get to the real reason why I moved in with my brother. I'm not a professional and I'm not offering professional advice, but I think sharing my experience might help others. So after my parents died, I fell into a really deep depression. I'm still in it and it's getting better, but I feel responsible for what happened to them. You see, I was the one who... Yeah? Oh, sorry. Didn't realize you were talking to yourself. I'm not talking to myself. I just got off the phone with the realtor. They just now got back to you? Yeah, well, I bought the house from a contractor. They had to track down the people they bought the house from. Did they find them? Yeah. So what did they say about the urn? Is it Grandpa? Nope. Nope, it's not theirs, or nope, it's not Grandpa? Nope, it's not theirs. So what are we supposed to do with it? I don't know. They said they'd look for the people they bought the house from, but... That was in the early 90s, so I doubt they'll find anything. Can't you check the auditor site? Why go to the trouble? Because we're living with some stranger's ashes, Mark. All right, but if we don't find anything, I'm throwing it away. You can't do that. It's a person. I mean, not really. Mark! What the heck are we doing? Find anything? I think so. Let's see. I bought the house in 2022. Contractor bought it in 2020 from a John Hapsom. That's the uh, guy my realtor called. John Hapsom bought the house in 1991 from a Rebecca Moore. Before that, Rebecca Moore got the house in 1989 from an Ernst and Hilda Moore. Same last name as Rebecca. Maybe they're related. Probably. It was a deed transfer, so she probably inherited it. Anyway... Uh, Ernst and Hilda Moore are the original owners of the place. They had the house from 1944 until 1989. 1944? Is that when it was built? I think so. Can we call Rebecca Moore? How are we supposed to find a Rebecca Moore from 1991? I don't know. Search her name. There are 10.2 million search results for Rebecca Moore. It's a needle in a haystack, Rach. Well, what do you want to do? I don't want that thing in the house any more than you do, but you won't let me throw it away. Well, can we scatter the ashes? I guess, but where? Somewhere nice, like at a park or, I don't know, name somewhere. Vegas? <laughs> I am not bringing an urn full of ashes to Vegas. All right, I think uh, 
park should be fine. There's that, um, that park over on Denison. Kids play there. There's a whole playground for them. So? So, what if the ashes blow in some kid's eye and blind him? Or haunt his eye? It can't. That's not going to happen. All right. We'll go tomorrow. After six. There won't be any kids there. They'll be home eating dinner. Okay. Hi, everyone. Mark and I are on our way to scatter the ashes in the park behind the house. It's not ideal, but it's better than just throwing them away. I just... I just keep thinking, like, what if someone had found my parents' ashes or my ashes? I wouldn't want to be thrown in the trash. Mark and I don't really want to live with the ashes anymore, and maybe this person doesn't want to live in a house with strangers either. So I think scattering them somewhere really nice is the best bet for everyone. Rach, are you ready? Yeah. We're heading there now. Is this spot okay? Mm, maybe farther down? I think that's good. What do you think? I think any spot's okay. Don't know why you're recording this. Subscribers will want to know what happened. It's kind of like giving grandpa a funeral. Is this live? No, I haven't updated my channel since I moved in. Good, then you can delete it later. Wait, should we say something? We didn't know him. Just say something. Strangers, subscribers, and squirrels. Don't be a jerk. Thank you to everyone who's joining us today for Grandpa's funeral. We didn't know him, but we'd like to think he was a nice guy and loved very much by his family, even if they left him at home. Stop. It was really good until that part. Death is a sad time for everyone involved. We're never the same after someone we love dies. Maybe we're not supposed to be. So... Cheers to whoever's ashes I'm holding. I hope you lived a long and happy life and that wherever you are now, you're just as happy. That was good. That last part. That's what you said at Mom and Dad's funeral. What part? The part about not being the same after someone dies. Because we're not supposed to. Oh, well, true. I know. But knowing doesn't make it hurt any less. Turn that off now. Hey everyone, we just got back from the park and we noticed something really weird going on in the kitchen. The walls have all these long claw marks and chunks of drywall taken out. It wasn't like this before? No. What could have done this? I don't know. Why are you recording this? Because it's weird, Mark. Seriously, Rachel, you're pissing me off. Turn it off. Hey, everyone. I just wanted to film this real quick. When I woke up this morning, I felt this slight burning and tingling on my chest. And as you can see, I have these long scratch marks. My necklace is in the way. This was my mom's necklace. It's made of jasper. It's supposed to give you emotional support, which I need right now, and spiritual protection. Anyway, I don't know what could have caused this because my nails aren't that long and I don't remember having that kind of dream. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just figured I'd film it because I don't know what could have caused the scratches. Unless... Was it you? How'd you sleep last night? Fine. Why? It was really hot last night, and look at my chest. First the wall, now me. Are you gonna be able to fix the wall? Yeah, I gotta get some spackle from the store first, but should have some matching paint in the garage. Want some help? No, I, I got it. Sorry, I yelled at you yesterday. I just don't like being recorded as all. This whole channel thing doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, I don't understand why. Never mind. I just don't get it. I know it's weird to some people, but 
documenting what it's been like since mom and dad died has been helping me cope. I don't expect you to understand. You're right. I, I don't understand it. Just don't record me so much as all, okay? Okay. I got our tickets to Vegas. You're still coming, right? Yeah. Does it look weird? You might want to put something on it. Do you think it could have been one of the cats? Mm, maybe. One of them sleep with you last night? Maybe Otto was startled and he scratched you when he went off. Maybe. Have they done that before? Yeah. I mean, now that we're talking about it, I do remember my chest felt kind of heavy last night. It, Otto sleeps on my chest sometimes. Mm. I'm going to go put something on this. Hey, turn this off when you're done. Hi guys. I'm not going to give much of an intro because I just want to show I have more scratch marks. I woke up with them last night on my chest and now they're on my neck. I don't know what could have caused them. I mean, they're pretty deep, so I feel like I would have felt them last night. Mark? Yes? I have more scratch marks. Do you think it could have been the cats? Don't know what else it could be. How'd you sleep? Fine. I mean, my chest feels heavy again. Do you think you're getting a cold? No, my throat is fine. Just my chest, it feels all bruised, like... There's a 50-pound weight on it all night. I have to get to work now. Okay. I don't know, guys. It's all really creepy. I think I might... I think I might feel myself sleeping. Is that weird? Just for one night so I can see if it's the cats or maybe I started sleepwalking. If I do end up recording myself, I'll edit together the footage and post it on here and maybe you guys could leave comments saying what you think is happening or let me know if it's weird if I record myself sleeping. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, I didn't get a chance to edit or upload today, but I decided to record myself sleeping. If nothing weird ends up happening, then I won't post the footage, but if it turns out that I'm sleepwalking or the cats are using me as their own personal scratching post, then mystery solved. I'm gonna put the camera there so that it's not right in my face and I get a visual on the whole room. See you in the morning. No, no, I'm not going to take it off. It was my mother's.
Rachel, can you get in here, please? Can you just get in here, please? <sighs> Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? Oh my god, what happened? The fuck should I know? Jesus, look at the living room. Why does it smell so bad? I don't smell anything. You don't smell like a rotten egg? It's like a rotting body. Can you just turn that off and fucking help me? See, it wasn't me. I didn't leave the room all night. Are you saying it was me? Why would I destroy my own house? I'm not saying it was you, but you can clearly see that you were up and about last night. I don't remember going into the living room last night. I don't remember leaving my bedroom last night. Why were you talking to yourself on the video? I don't think it was to myself. Then to who? I think I was dreaming. <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just, all this weird shit started happening as soon as you moved in, and I think it's for your channel, which is fine if that's how you want to get views, but leave me and my furniture out of it. You think I would destroy your stuff for views? No. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, the more views you get, the more money you make. Isn't that how it works? I can't believe you think I would do something like that. Like, you don't know me at all. You're right. I don't know you at all. I don't understand this obsession of yours with filming absolutely everything at all times. I don't care about the makeup stuff, but the stuff about mom and dad, they're not yours to profit off of. Oh, fuck you, Mark. Documenting my experience is supposed to help me understand it. You don't know what it's like living with this kind of guilt. Guilt from what? Seriously? I was the one who planned the trip. I paid for it. I paid for half of it. You don't see me blaming myself for it. You aren't the one who came up with this trip. I picked the dates. You did not plan their car accident. You did not choose the date because you knew there was gonna be an accident. That's all it was, Rachel, an accident. This has nothing to do with you. Yes, it was an accident, but one that could have been avoided if I had just picked another date or I don't know, gotten them a clock for their anniversary instead of a goddamn cruise. I think you're making this into something more than it needs to be. You've always been like this. Like what? Seeking attention, making everything about you and your feelings. Fuck you, Mark. Just fuck you. I suppose you think I did that. You're recording this now, aren't you? I don't understand. I thought you cleaned this up. I did. You don't smell that? You know I don't have a sense of smell. It's the same smell from this morning. What the fuck is going on? Do you think this is mom and dad? What? Just as we started to argue, maybe this is their way of intervening. Shut the fuck up about mom and dad, Rachel. Just shut the fuck up. I swear to God, turn this off.
Why were you watching me sleep? I don't know. Do you remember doing it? Obviously not. Maybe I was checking on you? You took Mom's crucifix and then you left the room. I don't know. I don't think I sleepwalk, but maybe I do. And the shadow on the wall? That could have been me walking through the hallway. Or... Or what? The shadow, the blanket, the crucifix on the wall. It could all be tricks for your channel. Oh my god. How many times do I have to tell you I am not doing this for my channel? I'm scared, Mark. Like, really scared. There's an awful smell in the house, I constantly feel like shit, and I don't need you watching me while I sleep. Gross, you're my sister. I didn't mean it like that. I'm, uh, gonna take Frankie and the cats next door. Carol said she'd watch them while we're away. If you still want to go, that is. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, she probably would still watch them, even if you're around. Here, listen to this. Hi, this message is for Mark. This is Caitlin Moore. I got a call from a realty company about an urn you found in my grandparents' old house. Um, I think the urn is my great aunt. This may be a strange request, but do you mind keeping the urn? Maybe it's family superstition, but my grandma wanted her sister, my great aunt, to remain with the house. I'm not trying to air my family drama on a stranger's voicemail, but my grandma believed my great aunt brought a certain protection to the house, even in death. That's why her ashes were left there. I'll take the ashes if you understandably don't want to keep them, but I'd like to honor my grandma's wishes. So I'm sure my number came up in your caller ID. Give me a call if you need to. Thanks. Are you gonna call her back? When I get back, I guess I'll tell her we'll keep the ashes since we don't really have them anymore. Whatever. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've been absent for a while and for that I apologize. I considered taking the channel in a different direction, but I don't think that's going to work out. I had something happen in my personal life and I thought I could document the grieving process and share it with you all, but I think it's just best to stick with makeup. I enjoy creating this kind of content and I enjoy helping people. So in the coming weeks, I'm going to... What the hell? Rachel? Jesus, what? Are the lights out in there? No. Okay, and the power's out all over the house. I'll check the fuse box. No. How about now? No. Mark? Mark! <sighs> Mark? Mark, this isn't funny.
Mark, seriously, stop it. I'm not kidding. Seriously, please. Mark? Mark, are, are you okay? Get away from me! Mark, what are you doing? Stop! Rachel? Rachel! God, Rachel! Rachel! Rachel!